Hello and welcome to 11 o'clock news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Bulfet. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received today at Safriya Palace the President of the Saudi Commission for Tourism and National Heritage, the SCTH, His Royal Highness Prince Sultan bin Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud, and the United Nations Educational, Scientific and Cultural Organization, UNESCO's Director General Audrey Zolai, as well as delegation from the UNESCO who arrived to participate in the inauguration ceremony on the occasion of the Kingdom hosting and presiding over the work of the 42nd session of the World Heritage Committee, which is being held under the patronage of His Majesty the King. The session will be attended by over 2,000 experts in the field of natural and cultural heritage. His Majesty welcomed the guests, expressing uh, the Kingdom's pride in hosting this great cultural event, which includes a distinguished elite of world heritage experts. He affirmed that this meeting reflects the Kingdom's efforts in establishing global communication bridges with all civilization and widening the horizons of knowledge exchange in light of the kingdom's distinguished status in the global cultural map and its deep-rooted civilization and historic monuments that have been built on the values of tolerance and openness to different cultures. During the meeting, His Majesty noted the continuous development of relations between Bahrain and the UNESCO, affirming the Kingdom's unlimited support to the organization's efforts, initiatives and humanitarian activities. He commended the efforts of Bahrain Authority for Culture and Antiquities in maintaining the deep-rooted history and heritage of Bahrain. His Majesty also noted its distinguished efforts which resulted in registering Bahrain Fort and Pearl Trail in the World Heritage List. His Majesty the King wished the participants success in the 42nd World Heritage Committee meeting and a pleasant stay in the Kingdom which will provide them with an opportunity to view the Kingdom's historic and cultural monuments and to visit its museums museums and cultural sites. For her part, UNESCO's Director General and the participants in the meeting expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty the King for the warm welcome and hospitality, hailing Bahrain's role and efforts in serving and preserving global heritage and the leading achievements made in the cultural and heritage fields. His Majesty the King and the Kingdom's guests witnessed a show of purebred Arabian horses that are known for their beauty and endurance. The Kingdom is considered one of the countries that has the best breeders of purebred Arabian horses registered in the World Arabian Horse Organization, the WAHO. Bahrain won the presidency of the World Heritage Committee last year.
His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received today at Qatibia Palace a number of intellectuals, economists, journalists and citizens with whom he discussed a number of local and international topics. His Royal Highness affirmed that His Majesty the King preserved the national unity against all challenges that the Kingdom will overcome. His Royal Highness asserted that the citizens' voices always take into consideration, their rights are always protected and their gains are sustained, highlighting the national awareness of the Bahraini people. He noted that the Kingdom is keen on joint opinions and listening to citizens' views, as well as the effective coordination with constitutional institutions in any new system. His Royal Highness stated that retirement funds and for are for people and are preserved for them, and the government's duty is to ensure that the retirement and insurance funds would perform their roles optimally according to the regulations that develop them and that enhance the country's and citizens' interests. His Royal Highness stressed that preserving safety and stability is the main priority, especially in light of the developments in the region. He affirmed that the Bahraini people have been a model in sincerity and patriotism hailing Bahraini people's firm stances in facing external interventions in its affairs. His Royal Highness stated that Bahraini people's communication preserves the country's security and stability. <coughs>
His Royal Highness Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received today at the Qutubiya Palace Representatives Council Speaker Ahmed bin Ibrahim Al Mullah and Shura Council Chairman Ali bin Salah Al Salah, where His Royal Highness discussed with them the views and proposals concerning the retirement laws following the directives of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa to reconsider the retirement law in cooperation and coordination with the legislative authority. Upon these royal directives, it was agreed to form a joint governmental parliamentary committee to study new visions between the two authorities to reach a compromise that guarantees the maintenance of pension funds and the rights of citizens. His Royal Highness hailed the constructive and productive cooperation between the government and the Representatives Council and the Shura Council. He praised the keenness of both authorities to cooperate and coordinate when introducing any reforms, including the continuity of pension and insurance funds for the service of retirees and participants. His Royal Highness affirmed the two authorities' keenness on securing the financial stability of pension funds and enhancing their capacity and development for future generations. The Representatives Council Speaker and the Shura Chairman expressed thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness for his keenness to ensure the cooperation and coordination between the government and the legislative authority concerning laws and legislation. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received today at Rafah Palace the President of the Saudi Commission for Tourism and National Heritage, the SCTH, His Royal Highness Prince Sultan bin Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud, on the occasion of his visit to Bahrain to participate in the World Heritage Committee, which the Kingdom will host. The Prime Minister affirmed that the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, led by the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud, plays a pivotal role in the region and the world. He also highlighted its Islamic, political and economic importance. His Royal Highness hailed the supportive stances of the Saudi monarch to the Arab and Islamic worlds. For his part, His Royal Highness Prince Sultan bin Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud noted the importance of Bahrain to the custodian of the two holy mosques and of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister for his stances and sentiments towards Saudi Arabia, its leadership and its people. He also hailed the strategic deep-rooted bilateral relations based on the common principles and goals that bind the two brotherly countries together. His Royal Highness noted the importance of international events in promoting the region's rich heritage and history and consolidating its role in strengthening the cultural identity of its member states by highlighting its contributions to humanity. He noted the development of Saudi Arabia in all fields under the leadership of the Saudi monarch and the support of the Crown Prince, Deputy Premier and Defence Minister, His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud. He wished the Kingdom and its people for their progress and prosperity. The Premier affirmed that Saudi Arabia has been a beacon of civilization with a long history and cultural legacy which reflects its ability to lead the Arab and Islamic nations. He stressed the importance of preserving cultural and historic sites and developing sectors such as cultural, tourism, which are important contributors to economic development. His Royal Highness Prince Sultan bin Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud expressed thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness the Prime Minister for his keenness on developing the Bahraini-Saudi relations. He noted that hosting the World Heritage Commission Committee is in the King them reflects the high status of Bahrain and its expertise in the field of preserving world heritage.
On behalf of His Majesty the King, His Royal Highness Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, attended today the inauguration of the 42nd meeting of the United Nations Educational, Scientific and Cultural Organizations, the UNESCO World Heritage Committee, held at Bahrain National Museum. Taking place between the 24th of June and the 4th of July, the meeting is held under the patronage of His Majesty King Hamad and organized by the Bahraini Authority for Culture and Antiquities and the International Center for the Study of the Conservation and Restoration of Cultural Property, the ICCROM. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince affirmed that the opportunity to host the 42nd edition of this event reflects an important milestone in the Kingdom's efforts to promote its long-standing historical and cultural identity underpinned by His Majesty. Majesty, the King's continuous support. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince highlighted that ongoing collaboration between UNESCO and Bahrain has resulted in the inclusion of two of the Kingdom's sites on the World Heritage List, noting that Bahrain's strong cultural heritage plays a key role in the country's development. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince concluded by praising UNESCO's efforts in documenting world history, heritage and culture while strengthening knowledge sharing between member states. President of the Bahrain Cultural and Equities Authority, Sheikh Hamay bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, affirmed that through the support of His Majesty the King and the government led by His Royal Highness uh, the Prime Minister, Bahrain remains an important location within UNESCO's World Heritage List. Chair of the 42nd session of the World Heritage Committee, Sheikh Hamay bin Rashid Al Khalifa, also delivered a speech welcoming the participants to the meeting. The Director General of UNESCO, Mrs. Adria Zulai, emphasized the importance of preserving culture in a fast-paced world as well as hosting an Arab country given the region's rich and historical culture. The president of the executive board of UNESCO, Lee byung hyun affirmed UNESCO's commitment to preserving heritage sites and natural culture given their key role in shaping global culture and natural heritage that reflects the very best of a nation's spirit and identity.
His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa today met with the President of the Saudi Commission for Tourism and National Heritage, the SCTH, His Royal Highness Prince Sultan bin Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince noted the importance of preserving national heritage, stressing that Bahrain's rich culture and history play a supportive role in sustainable development. His Royal Highness highlighted Bahrain's efforts to preserve Islamic and Arab culture while proactively engaging with other societies. He emphasized the extensive cooperation between Bahrain and Saudi Arabia on cultural matters, noting that their shared commitment to preserving region's rich heritage is an indication of the close relations between the two countries. His Royal Highness welcomed the president of the SCTH to the Kingdom of Bahrain and commended his participation in the 42nd session of the World Heritage Committee. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince welcomed the ongoing cultural co cooperation between Bahrain and Saudi Arabia and emphasize the common interest both countries have in promoting their rich heritage and culture. For his part, His Royal Highness Prince Sultan bin Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud expressed gratitude for the opportunity to meet His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and welcomed His Royal Highness the Crown Prince's support for Bahraini-Saudi cooperation within the cultural and heritage sectors. His Royal Highness Prince Sultan went on to highlight Bahrain's essential and successful role as host of the 42nd session of the World Heritage Committee. Her Royal Highness, the wife of His Majesty the King and President of the Supreme Council for Women, the SCW, Princess Sabika bint Ibrahim Al Khalifa, received at the Council's headquarters the UNESCO's Director General, Audrey Zulai. Her Royal Highness affirmed the importance of the UNESCO's efforts to provide these suitable circumstances for dialogue between civilizations, cultures, and people on the basis of respecting joint values to achieve the global vision of sustainable development in line with its work to provide adequate education for all. She asserted the Kingdom's keenness on enhancing cooperation with various UN agencies, including the UNESCO, noting that the partnership between the SCW and the UN Women in launching a global award under Her Royal Highness's name for women empowerment, in line with the Council's work to promote the best practices that enhance the status of women on the global level. Her Royal Highness expressed pride in Bahrain's achievements in various cultural fields and Bahraini women's pioneering contributions, noting that this year coincides with the 90th anniversary of the beginning of formal education for girls in Bahrain in 1928, which contributed to Bahraini women's pioneership regionally in various fields. She stressed the Kingdom's keenness on the success of the 42nd World Heritage Committee's meeting, which will be held from June the 24th until July the 7th in Bahrain. Her Royal Highness highlighted the efforts of the President of Bahrain Authority for Culture and Antiquities, Sheikh Hamaid bin Muhammad Al Khalifa, in placing Bahrain on the map of cultural and global events, wishing UNESCO's Director General and the President of the World Heritage Committee, Sheikh Hayya bin Rashid Al Khalifa, success during the committee's meetings. For her part, Audrey Zola expressed thanks and appreciation to Her Royal Highness, expressing admiration for Bahrain's experience in the fields of women advancement and enhancing the equal opportunities principle to ensure their access to decision-making centers.
the occasion of the launching of the futsal tournament for youth centers, national clubs and people with disabilities, the first deputy president of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sport, president of Bahrain Athletics Association, Azana Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, affirmed that the tournament comes under the framework of enhancing the youth and sports movement in the kingdom. Azana affirmed that the sixth edition of the futsal tournament comes under the directive of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa that aim to support the youth and sports sector and to provide Bahrainis with the needed skills in all fields. He added that the tournament comes in line with the aspiration of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, that specify the importance of allowing the youth to be significant and creative. His Highness pointed out that the tournament went through different stages of development and became one of the sporting and humanitarian initiatives presented to Bahrainis in the futsal field. He added that the tournament holds noble goals that comes in line with the vision and policies of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, led by His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, with the goal of enhancing the progress march of the youth. His Highness affirmed keenness to present the youth and allow them to show their capabilities in the most effective and efficient way. He affirmed that the youth are capable of building the country and maintain its gains. His Highness Sheikh Khalid praised the efforts that contributed to the success of the tournament and hailed the role of the Ministry of Youth and Sports led by the Minister Hisham al Joder. He also lauded the role of the sponsors and all concerned communities that ensured the success of the event. President of the Bahrain Futsal Fed Football Federation, Sheikh Ali bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, Vice President of FIFA Communications, Sheikh Ziad bin Faisal Al Khalifa, President of Bahrain Sports Federation for Disabilities, Sheikh Mohammed bin Raij Al Khalifa, Deputy Yemeni Ambassador Hassan Masoud Gahdan, Councillor at the Egyptian Embassy, Bahar Shweikhi, Assistant Under Secretary for Resources and Services at the Ministry of Industry, Commerce and Tourism, Amt Al Aziz Al Ashraf, and members of Parliament, Osam Al Khalifa. And Ali Bufarsan, representatives of sponsoring companies and officials from the Ministry of Youth and Sports, were all present.
The sixth edition of the Khalid bin Hamad League for Youth Centers, People with Disabilities and Girls, which this year features the inclusion of ministries and communities, kicked off today under the slogan Meeting of Generations at the Khalifa Sports City Hall and will continue until the 9th of August. We would like to, uh, to thank His Highness Sheikh Khalid for uh, his patronage of this event and uh, contributing uh, people who, with disabilities uh, to, to the event. It gave them great uh, motivation to participate in sports events. Talking about the, the league this year, I think we're going up to 83 teams. Uh, last uh, year it was 59 only and uh, we have uh, 83 teams now. Also it was only maybe four categories. We also we have other nationalities and the ministries also are added. We have now six leagues and one general league. And this you know, gives chance everybody to participate in this league. And I wish everybody best luck in this league. The participating teams are made up of a total of 83 teams with over a thousand players playing in six different categories. The tournament aims to support the youth and sports sector in the kingdom and to strengthen national unity. It's an honor for us to participate uh, in, in such an event. Um, it's so important. It's, it's uh, one of the, our strategic objectives. It's a priority for Temkin. Uh, it's important to also, also to include the youth and uh, let them proactive, productive in the, in the, in the national economy of Bahrain. My name is Samu Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad for about, for about uh, games uh, every, every year for the disabled uh, people. This is very, very, very good and thank you for that. The tournament is one of the many initiatives that contribute to the development of the youth's skills and instills the spirit of cooperation amongst the participants. Reporting for Bahrain International, I'm Yasmin Ibrahim. The Shura Council held its weekly meeting today, presided over by its chairman Ali bin Salah Hassalah, where it approved a draft law amending Article 43 of the Law of Social and Cultural Associations, clubs and private bodies working in the youth and sports institutions, issued under Law 21 of 1989. The Council also approved a draft law ratifying an agreement between Bahrain and Cyprus on the cooperation in combating terrorism, organized crime, trafficking in narcotics and psychotropic substances, illegal immigration and other criminal offenses offenses provided in the agreement. The United Nations Educational, Scientific and Cultural Organization, the UNESCO, has announced the opening of the competition for the 2018 UNESCO King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa Prize for the use of information and communication technologies in education at its 10th edition. The award aims at honoring the leading international projects and programs in the fields of ICT, employment and providing education for all in line with one of UNESCO's most important objectives, which are to ensure quality and inclusive education for all and to promote lifelong learning opportunities for all through electronic systems. On this occasion, Minister of Education Dr. Majid bin Ali Naimi said that UNESCO's continuation of this international award for the 10th consecutive year is a reflection of the success achieved since its establishment under the patronage of His Majesty the King in 2005 in accomplishing UNESCO's humanitarian goals. He also noted that the prize attracted a large number of individuals, institutions and organizations that have implemented innovation projects in the field of ICT employment and education. UNESCO invites, indivi invites individuals, foundations and non-governmental organizations to consult national UNESCO committees in their countries or non-governmental organizations that have an official partnership with UNESCO to inquire about any information and fill out the electronic submission form. Applications and nominations in English and French will be submitted via the online nomination platform by the 31st of October 2018. A group from Bahrain Defence Forces, Royal Guards and Royal Medical Services is taking part in the mission of the British relief ship to support refugees in the Mediterranean alongside the United Kingdom's Royal Navy. A group of BDF officers, non-commissioned officers and members is playing a great humanitarian role internationally 
by participating in relief activities in the region and the world. Upon royal directives and under direct supervision of the Royal Guard Commander, His Highness Brigadier General Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, groups comprising of an officer from the Royal Guard and a paramedic from the Royal Medical Services take part in rescue missions of illegal immigrants and refugees by providing them with medical care as part of Operation Sophia on board British vessels in the Mediterranean Sea, as part of mutual cooperation between the Bahrain Defence Force and the British Army. Groups are sent and replaced in various European Union countries according to the locations of the rescue vessels. Courses are held at the Royal Guard prior to the dispatch of any group to ensure the officer's readiness. This operation, which has been successful for two years since its launch, has proved the high professionalism of the DBDF's officers, non-commissioned officers and members in humanitarian and relief operations with unmistakable distinction of female members and this is not the first time the kingdom has participated in relief mission. The missions require the presence of a medical team that is prepared to receive immigrants as their displacement and use of inflatable and wooden boats can leave them stranded at sea for over 12 hours and causes fatigue and deterioration of their medical conditions, particularly women and children. The team also provides assistance to Muslim women immigrants. We are responsible for classifying the cases and providing the necessary medical care and rescue. The BDF's group is taking part in rescue operations by providing professional medical services with high discipline to immigrants to perform their noble missions based on the humanitarian relations that connect the Kingdom of Bahrain with the rest of the world. Earlier today, we were joined by Shura Council member Dr. Mohammed Al Khazai, who headed the delegation representing Bahrain in the Standing Committee meeting on Economic and Sustainable Development in Pissouri, Cyprus, which is set to start its meetings tomorrow. The meeting will take place on the 26th and 27th of this month. Mm -hmm. It's the interparliamentary group representing both houses of parliament. The actual meeting is about uh, one of the standing committees in the Asian Parliamentary Assembly. This time it is taking place in Cyprus. A delegation from Bahrain, as you mentioned, will be taking part in the discussion that is focusing on a number of issues, such as the Asian integrated energy markets, issues regarding the environment, Mm -hmm. and the resolution on financial affairs, ensuring efforts of economic growth. Mm -hmm. And one of the most important issues is the eradication of poverty in Asia. And finally, not but not least, is the role of the APA parliaments in supporting the implementation of sustainable development goals. And uh, let me mention that both chambers in Bahrain are in full support of the Bahrain vision of the 2030 on the sustainable. The recommendations will have to come out from the assembly itself, ensuring all those uh, points that I have mentioned mm -hmm. where the meeting will be focusing on.